Hi everyone, I wanted to do another post on a question in regards to having your resume reflect the value that you provide. So thanks to Max G for making a comment on one of the previous videos. Uh, and that video was equating the resume screening process to the game of bingo. And that was really to make sure that that resumes uh, nowadays will at least meet the basic requirements to fit the job posting. Uh, but that, uh, as Max G pointed out, isn't enough uh, because you presume that all of the resumes coming in would fit. Uh, and now that we've uh, explained the, the benefits of reverse engineering, hopefully all of them will get to that point. So it's a matter of figuring out, well, how best do they fit the job posting uh, and, and the job in, in, in total? So uh, one of the things that I recommend to do is uh, take a look at the bullet points and uh, see whether or not they are an activity or an achievement. So oftentimes folks will put in their resume that whatever it is on the job posting, they'll say, we did this. Uh, I did this here, I did this here, I did this here. Uh, an activity is, is what you did, but an achievement is, is how well you did it, right? So uh, if you manage a team of five people, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it all depends. So uh, the analogy I use is uh, manage a team of five people, dot, 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 and uh, within a month, they all quit because you micromanaged them to death, right? Or manage a team of five people and then dot, dot, dot. Within the next 12 months, they were top performing salespeople in their respective regions, but you still managed a team of five people. So thinking about what you did and elevating that into an achievement, how well did you do it? First of all, do you even know what the expectations were? Uh, do you know how, what it, a reasonable benchmark is to say that you did it well? And if you don't think about it, it's usually one of three things. It's usually time, cost, or quality, right? So there's time in terms of, well, you did it faster than someone, or uh, you kept the client on for longer. So that could be one thing. Uh, it's cost. So, so either you increased revenue or decreased expenses. And sometimes they're interrelated because if you did it faster, technically you could make more money as a result of that, or maybe yeah, less expensive because it took a shorter amount of time. And the third is quality, which is usually what most people uh, refer to because, well, yeah, my manager said I did a good job, so therefore I did a good job. Well, so there's that aspect of it. Did you get any compliments for any uh, customers or any rave review from, from clients or whatever it is? Uh, did you have fewer errors, fewer mistakes that, that were done or fewer complaints? That could be another metric too, because some um, jobs, that, that is kind of a main metric. So thinking about what you've done in your work and saying, well, how do I demonstrate in a measurable way that I uh, was able to achieve um, those expectations and ideally even exceed them? Because if everybody in, in the group of, and the pile of resumes have done the job, then it's a matter of a, who best fits that and who has actually outlined as a bullet point their achievements to demonstrate that they are able to do that for me. So that's one way to elevate your resume and uh, uh, increase that. But obviously the best way is to uh, get in front of someone and, and network and build meaningful connections to uh, find your next opportunity. But if you're going down that route, uh, that would probably be the next thing to do. So hope you enjoyed that and uh, take care.